This video explains how to replace an A values by the logical indicator false using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set called data is appearing. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data set contains four rows and three columns called x1, x2 and x3. And as you can see, some of the values in these columns are an A, other values are true and other values are false. Now let's assume that we want to set all the NA values in our data set to false. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines seven to eight. So in line seven, I'm first duplicating our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data set called data new one is appearing at the top right. And at this point, this data set contains exactly the same values as our input data frame data. And then in the next step, I'm using the isNA function to identify all the positions where our data set contains an NA value. Then I'm using square brackets to subset our data set. And I'm assigning to all these NA values the logical indicator false. So if you run line eight of the code, our data frame is updated. And you can see that by printing the updated data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine, and then you can see that we have replaced all the NA values by the logical indicator false. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the is.na function for this task. However, it's also possible to replace NA values by false using the dplyr package. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 11 of the code. So as a first step, we need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And then in lines 14 to 15 of the code, I'm using the replace and the isNA functions to replace our NA values by false. So after running these two lines of code, a new data set called data new two is created. And this data set is also appearing at the top right. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 16 of the code. And now you can see that we have created exactly the same output as in the first example. However, this time we have used the dplyr package instead of base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.